One of the most transparent and ludicrous attempts at distraction that we have seen from a president who has got a, a million of them, retweeting an utterly absurd claim by a conspiracy theorist that the former president, Barack Obama, was behind what he calls the Russia hoax. It is obviously completely untrue. It's a disturbed fantasy. And just as obviously, he doesn't really expect you to believe it. He just wants to turn the page. What is it about President Obama that really gets under your skin? Is it because he's smarter than you? Better educated? Made it on his own? Didn't need daddy's help? Wife is more accomplished? Better looking? I don't know. What is it? What is it about him? that he's a black man that's accomplished, became president, that he punked you on the whole birth certificate thing. What is it about him? Just wondering. Just wondering. Oh, you're just wondering, Don Lemon? That was slick. Look, I, yeah, I'm as cynical as anyone, and I'm as frustrated with the mainstream media as anyone, but I, and so I clicked on that video kind of ready to make fun of it, but... Look, he's on point, and I have tons of policy criticisms of President Obama, but yeah, Trump despises Obama at a level that is entirely based on racism. We know that Trump is a vicious racist. Just look at his treatment of the Central Park Five, his insistence that despite the fact that DNA evidence exonerated them, that they're still guilty, pretty much. Uh, and the list goes on and on. We've obviously seen how he's behaved as president, but his personal obsession with Obama is one of the best indicators of his own horrific racism. The fact that he insisted for years upon years until he was pressured to in 2016 and still kind of hints at it, even though his advisors made him say this, that you know Obama wasn't born in the United States, that he was born in Kenya. Again, in the campaign in 2016, he had to concede, okay, his birth certificate is not forged, but that's an entirely racist proposition. It's uh, meant to drum up racist conspiracy theories. And he, he knew exactly what he was doing. He was obsessed with Obama from the beginning. When he became president, he was obsessed with his inauguration crowd size being bigger than that of Obama's, which broke records when he was first inaugurated as the first African-American president in the history of the country. Again, uh, he, he lied and said Obama tapped his phones. He has been obsessed with Obama in unhealthy and unnatural ways for so long. And it's, it's, uh, there's a case to be made that the only reason he is president is because of that deep-seated obsession with Obama. After Trump announced his candidacy, several publications seized upon the 2011 White House Correspondents' Dinner as the moment in which his political ambitions crystallized, which is when Obama roasted him for the birtherism. That evening of public abasement, rather than sending Mr. Trump away, accelerated his ferocious efforts to gain stature within the political world, the New York Times wrote in 2016. And it captured the degree to which Mr. Trump's campaign is driven by a deep yearning, sometimes obscured by his bluster and bragging, a desire to be taken seriously. Other publications have, have speculated that that was um, also the moment where Trump decided after being humiliated by Obama that he was going to run. Uh, he didn't back off birtherism at that point. If you guys remember Obama, with the help of some really great comedic writers, released his birth video to prove that he was born here. And uh, it was the Lion King intro. So look, that's just funny. That's just funny. That's just well done. And it's a level of intentional humor that Trump can never reach because much of what's humorous about him is dark and unintentional. But another point about Don Lemon there, look, that, that video, it's, it's largely inconsequential. It's more fun than anything. But, but the reason it's fun is because I want to see more anchors behave in that manner. Fed up, angry, pissed off, showing off why they think Trump is such a danger because he is such a danger. And yes, I wish they would hold establishment Democrats feet to the fire in the same way. Um, but this is still a, a peek into their actual perspective, which is what people tune in for. They don't tune in for you to be an objective robot. They tune in for your perspective. 
And I guarantee you a lot more people who may have not watched Don Lemon before, but don't like Trump, they're gonna see that perspective and they're gonna see, wow, that, that was so human. And like, again, another small point, there's something just so awesome about calmly eviscerating someone with like that low tone when you talk like that. Don Lemon, it was, it was great. It was great. And uh, I can't hate. That was awesome, Don.